Hello everyone, welcome back to Cudgel Deer. It is the 10th day of spring and we have a lot, a lot of dirty floors. Look at all of these dirt clumps just sitting around. Uh, we, we are making a mess of our fort for sure. Uh, but hopefully this episode will get that all cleaned up and, uh, at least partially cleaned up. We still have uh, some logs and some fruit sitting out here as well. Um, so I think today we're going to be working on getting our stockpiles uh, fully figured out. Uh, we are going to be switching around some professions as well uh, to get people off of these generic crafter laborer uh, positions. We are going to start getting people specialized a little bit. We also have a well that I have scheduled to be built uh, just to help uh, alleviate some of Motion's uh, brewing so that he has time to do something else. This is actually uh, Trickster who's brewing right now. I think Motion's sleeping. Pass out from all of his brewing in the last couple days. Oh no, he's planting a tree. Huh. Okay. Well. Clearly he was tired of brewing and decided to come over here and plant a tree. I guess that makes sense. Uh, but what we're going to do, first of all, is we are going to assign a specification as a carpenter. And I set the carpenter position up to... Here we go. We're this carpenter. There's actually a preset carpenter that I think we're just going to go ahead and remove that one. Uh, but carpenter. Uh, main priority is to work in the uh, wood shops, so uh, the carpentry and the wood carving. Uh, primarily right now all we have is carpentry going on, uh, but then if there's no jobs uh, waiting to be done as carpentry, she can also double as a woodcutter. So I have her set to uh, do the woodcutting. Uh, she also has agricultural for uh, farming and uh, horticulture, but her primary job is going to be any agriculture that I have specified to be done, then groves, which would be the trees, and then farms. Uh, so that basically this is her priority, and then trees, and then farming at the very least. And then the other thing that I want to do is set up a stone carver because that is going to be very important here in the next little bit. Uh, so it looks like Graves has 26 for stone carving. And Jabba is obviously going to be our miner. So yeah, Graves gets to be our stone carver. And again, uh, the primary job is to work in uh, the stone cutting and stone carving. And if nothing else, I am also going to give him um, agricultural jobs. Just because, uh, at least, no, not all of them. Early on, uh, I, I find that agriculture is very, very important. We want to make sure that we have a steady supply of food and all of that good stuff. So uh, hopefully with those two set, we should get um, a big focus on our carpentry going. And why? Oh, probably because everyone's sleeping. But hopefully, uh, very quickly, we can start working on getting some of our industry up. And hopefully, we can get some of this uh, this mess off of the floor. So I'm just going to let it run for a little bit, and uh, we'll see what happens. I'll bring you back if anything exciting comes up. But for now, it should just be... Oh, look, they're making the well now. Perfect. So that's a good start. Um... So if anything exciting happens, I'll bring you back, but for now it's just going to be sitting around and cleaning up a mess. Alright, so it looks like things are starting to uh, pick up. We have the floors starting to get cleaned, we're bringing in our logs, we have uh, the fruit over here getting pulled in. So slowly but surely we have everything cleaning up. Uh, but the good news is, we have our tables and chairs that we uh, had planned finally built. So what I think we're going to do, and this is set as a great hall, I want to build, and for now we're just going to do soil because it's easy and it's ready, readily available. And we're just going to put a little uh, balcony over here. And that should go pretty quick. And once that's done, uh, we are going to put set up our tables and chairs so we have a nice overlooking 
a bit, and uh, eventually we'll have a little bit of worth for our kingdom. Our kingdom currently is only at 3300, uh, but that's fine. We don't want to build our kingdom worth up too quickly yet. Uh, if we build it up too quickly, then the goblins are going to be way too powerful when they come. And it looks like, oh, everyone is dual wielding. I'm not sure we want that. Uh, because I only have one axe for each, uh, for each gnome. I do have Ceci over here. She is working on making, uh, some wheelbarrows to make the, uh, the restocking and cleaning go a little bit faster. And also some wooden shields. So our, uh, military, let's go ahead and set up the uniform here for our, uh, militia. We should have left hand should be a stone hand axe and right hand should be a shield no a wooden shield where's wooden shield there it is wooden shield and that should help uh, keep everyone slightly uh, well protected at least at the beginning uh, the wooden shields obviously aren't gonna block all that much especially once metal weapons come into the picture but uh, it'll help block at least the early unarmed goblin blows. So that's what I'm thinking of so far. And once this is done, perfect. Now we can say, uh, build furniture table. We're gonna want to build a bauxite table. We're gonna go one, two, three, four. We have four made up right now. And also we are going to want some bauxite chairs and rotate it press R to do the rotation and there we go we have uh, some jobs set up so hopefully right now our kingdom or our great hall worth is zero once these get installed it'll bring up our value a little bit at least and let's continue to clean the floors let's bring in our food because the last thing we want is uh, this food has been picked and has is counted against our food up here. But if it's shut outside of our gates, then that would be a bad thing, obviously. Because uh, if we're stuck inside and we're starving, they're going to come out here try to get the food. And if there's a siege going on, that would be not the best thing by any means. So let's go ahead and get those. That should bring in all of our food. Alright, looks like finally our uh, trees are starting to be pl uh, grown. And I think what we're going to do, right now we have it so that they'll cut the clippings and pick the fruit and then cut down the trees and replant them. I think what we're going to do though for now is just have the apple trees be a supply of food rather than also a supply of wood. Uh, same with the orange tree. So we're just going to cut, uh, turn off the cut clippings and fell trees. So they will pick the fruit. This will help keep the uh, fruit keep coming in. And uh, if we do ever need uh, apple wood or orange wood, we can uh, cut them out, cut them down outside if we need to, or you know otherwise. Uh, you know selectively cut these down, but for now. I'm more focused on Keeping everyone fed over everything else So and speaking of being fed we finally have our tables and chairs set up nothing overly exciting These tables are a bauxite table should have oh, It doesn't have the quality usually it has the quality, but it has a little bit of worth 18 or so so our great hall is now worth 208 so slowly building up that kingdom worth we're now up to 3500 and uh, we have almost all of our wooden shields crafted so our people are running around with the bauxite hand axes and wooden shields and ready to defend themselves when the time comes and uh, with that, what I want to do is get this workbench going. Unfortunately, it's taking a little bit longer than I'd like, but we can take this workshop. Uh, we want to build 
Um, stone carver. So that will need a chair and a workbench. So let's go ahead and make a bauxite chair for now. And uh, the workbench will be made. And we can at least set it up so that it'll work. And th what the stone carver will do is it'll let us make uh, trade goods from all of our rock. Come on. R. I'm hitting the wrong button. So we will set that up right there for now. Again, these are all just temporary placements, so uh, once we get everything situated, everything is going to move to a much better place. Uh, how's our floor cleaning going? Oh, that is a honey badger. So we want to make sure that we don't get that angry with us. It may look cute. No, 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 don't, don't, don't attack. Oh, dang it. Why did you attack it? No, this is not good. Okay. Um, dang it. This is not good. Zen! Why would you do that? Already you're bleeding. Dang it. Okay, well, now that it has the scent of blood, let's see if Zen can run away. Oh, dang it. Why is everyone... Okay, at this point, we just need to take all squads and attack with it. Dang it, that is not what we wanted to have happen. Uh, fortunately though, Honey Bladger Blood, that's perfect. Uh, it is bleeding from his head. Nice shot there, Mooney. Uh, ho hopefully we don't run out of bandages. We have 32 that we start with. Uh, let's see, is it running away? Dang it. Bleeding from his head. This... Yeah, one attack, and they run away, so this is not good by any means. So bringing in Jabba with this copper, hopefully, how are we going over here? No, I don't see anyone running away, so that's good. Um, let's see, overview, enemies, events, this is what we want, combat. <sighs> what do we have here? Uh, the Honey Badger's lower body has been mangled. That's good. That's good. BK bashes with his birch shield at the Honey Badger, but Honey Badger dodges. Okay. It's the pink ones that we're worried about. Honey Badger, an artery has been struck. That's good. What is this one? An artery has been struck. Okay. Uh, left leg is bleeding. Left back paw is bleeding. Good. Whew. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna be okay. <sighs> the honey badger has died. Perfect. <sighs> okay, how how's everyone doing health-wise? Motion, how's your health? Good health. Okay, I just want to double check, make sure everyone has all their limbs. Sessie's good. Those honey badgers can be vicious. Their bites. I mean, one bite you saw was making them bleed, and then they'd have to run away, rebandage. So everyone looks like they're in good health, which is great. Mooney, you're good. Zen, good health. Trickster, okay. Only a couple more. Jabba, you should be in great health because you have all the copper and graves. What were you doing? Good health, perfect. Okay, well, this changes some things then. I think now instead of making the bone car or the stone carver, we might actually want to work on a butcher shop and we will need a table. So let's go ahead and set up a table to be built. And uh, with a butcher, we can take that honey badger and turn it into food. <sighs> that was a lot riskier than I wanted it to be, but hey, you know, we made it work, I guess. So we're gonna go ahead and get this set up. We'll go ahead and set it over here with the rest of the food uh, buildings. Okay, let's not take any more risks like that, okay, Zen? Everyone else should be going right back to work. Perfect. They're picking up the oranges, and we have everything else going. So we're going to have to figure out who wants to be the butcher. 
Uh, but let's go ahead and set up a quick little stockpile here for body parts. And that should, if we take the honey badger, clean that, that should bring the honey badger in right there so we can butcher it up. Uh, with that, we'll be able to get some bones, which will let us finally get a cloth system working uh, because we have a lot of cotton just lying around waiting to be used. It will also let us um, obviously make food out of the, uh, the meats. And I believe we'll get some uh, fur that we can use to make some leather armor. I'm not sure if honey badgers provide leather or not, but at the very least we have the food and we have the cloth. So that is a great thing. And ooh, who's that? Talon Bashadi is using the great hall. Just sitting there eating his apple and taking a look over the brand new land. Love it. Okay, so we need to set this up to butcher the honey badger corpse. And we want to automatically butcher corpses, and we want to automatically butcher excess livestock. And excess livestock is determined by this right here. So we can have up to two male yaks and up to five female yaks. Anytime we get above those numbers, the extra will be taken and um, slaughtered for food. So we actually want at most four females, because the last thing we want is for there to be five females and we butcher the last male. Uh, because I'm not sure if you learned it in school or not, it takes one male and one female to make a baby, and we want baby X. For sure. So I don't know if anyone is set up for the butcher job right now, but hopefully someone will decide that that is indeed their job. Um, but if not, let's see, crafter. Yeah, crafters have everything, laborers have everything. Um, but let's take motion. And give him a... Let's change Brewer temporarily to do all the food. Uh, rancher? Oh, who's our, who was our rancher? Who was our rancher originally? I think it might have been Motion, actually. Ah, here we go. We'll, we'll, take, we'll make uh, Trix be our rancher. And he should be able to do the uh, butchery. Let's double check here. No, not woodcutter. Rancher. With that, you can do leather working and butchery. Okay, uh, let's also set it up for bone carving. And there we go. Looks like. Is that tricks? No, that's motion. Oh, he's just grabbing food. I wonder who's going to be the one doing that. Probably Trix. Let's see who grabs the corpse. There we go. Talon! Talon is just all over the place. He's eating dinner, and by the time everyone else has even thought about doing anything, Talon is on top of things. So what do we have here? Um... What do we get out of this? We got honey badger hides, bones, hides, we got some meat, we got a skull. So we got bones, meat, and hides. So a little bit of everything. We don't have a kitchen yet to make use of those meats, uh, but maybe that should be our next, maybe that should be our next little uh, thing, kitchen. We're gonna need a knife, chair, table. We don't have any of those yet, but at least we can set up the job to be built, and that should. Table, chair, and we can. Why is the workbench not being made? Needs plank. Um, no, we don't, we don't need this. Just kidding. Let's cancel this job, because I want to make it out of stone right now. Because stone is much more plentiful. Ah. 
barely more plentiful. We'll make it work. So, everything's done here. Let's make a workbench out of whatever plank we can get first. So that's why the workbench wasn't being made, because we only have five of one and four of the other, and they have to be all of the same thing. And workbenches take six planks. That makes sense now. That should get the table and the chair built, and you know, honestly, we should just have these crafted. So we always have at least one table and one chair available at any time. We're also going to want a knife made. Is that it? We're gonna move that up. And that will get us our kitchen. So we can turn that meat into some sausage. And these wheat grains we can turn into bread and we can have some lovely honey badger sandwiches. It's gonna be glorious for sure. But I, honestly, I'm just happy that everyone's still alive, because honey badgers aren't a joke. I once did a test with, um, I mean, bears are the worst, uh, to be honest, but honey badgers, they are no joke. I, I once set up uh, my entire starting gnomes to kill a bear, ended up with three gnomes left, and that was lucky, I would say. Honey badgers can be just as vicious if you don't get them all killed off right away so uh, there's also monitor lizards that we have to worry about for a second I was worried that that might be something that we didn't want to see nope that's good fortunately we aren't gonna get these floors cleaned by the end of spring which makes me a little bit sad but won't, won't make it work um is hilt being built right now the hilt is being built and then we can also make a birch workbench. There we go. So now we can say, um, food, kitchen. We want the bauxite table. We want the bauxite chair and any knife, whichever that knife is that is getting built. And we have our food set up. Pretty much. Almost. Just thinking about it. Just making the knife right now. There it goes. Perfect. Alright, so now what we can do is say we want loaves of bread, we want sausages, and then we want to make sandwiches. So sandwiches are the highest priority. They require sausage from meats and bread. Uh, but then other, after that, we'll have them make uh, loaves of bread. So I think the, the best way to do that is to say, okay, we want 10 sandwiches at any given time now. And that will craft the bread and the sausages. Uh, obviously, we'll only have four meats for the the sandwiches, so we'll only have four sandwiches. And then after that, we want to make ten loaves of bread and ten sausages. And that will prioritize making the sandwiches first, and then any leftover we'll put into making breads and sausages. Uh, so I think that's the most uh, efficient way of doing it. I could be wrong, but I believe that is going to... I mean, it's going to work either way, but... Hopefully that's the most efficient way to do it. Uh, but I think it is the last day of spring, so I think I'm going to go ahead and leave you there. Next episode, uh, we'll probably, well, we'll definitely get into the summertime. We'll probably have to worry about our first goblin invasion. Hopefully it won't be too bad. Um, how many bandages do we have left? That is something that we should double check. Um, cloth. We have 26 of our 32 bandages left. So that one honey badger went through uh, about 20% of our bandages. So that is something that we are going to have to work on. We do have over 100 uh, fiber from cotton and uh, wool from our yaks. Uh, I believe yaks give us wool. I, 
I don't know if... We might only have cotton for now, but we can turn those into bandages once we get a uh, cloth work set up. And for that, we are going to need a loom, which requires a loom and a chair. Uh, the loom can be made from a carpenter. And also, we'll need to make the tailor, which requires a bone needle, which means we're going to have to set up a bone shop, a bone carver, and uh, tables and chairs, obviously. Uh, pretty much every place needs a table and chair. So with that, though, I think we're going to keep that for next episode. Uh, we'll get a bone carver and a tailor set up. But for now, I think I'm going to go ahead and leave you uh, as our gnomes are getting some more food. We're up to 158 food, um, most of which now I believe is inside, except for a little bit over here. I believe they cleared up. Well, there's a little bit still over here, but for the most part, everything is inside. And we have trees full of fruit and the farms are uh, being regrown again. So I think we're going to be fine on food for at least uh, the near future. Uh, but with that, I think it's time to leave you. Thank you as always for watching. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to hit that like and or subscribe button if you haven't already. And I will see you guys next time. But until next time, and as always, don't be a stranger. Take care.